Hello. So today we're going to be talking about an important part of any radon mitigation system, and that is the proper excavation of our suction pit. So in other words, we're talking about digging a hole. This is especially important if you have sand, dirt, or clay underneath your house. And we're going to couple this with the importance of caulking any cracks in our slab that could hamper the suction that we want happening underneath our slab. So let's see the effects that these two techniques had in real time on a recent radon mitigation job that we did where digging that hole out and caulking up those cracks really made all the difference. So we'll be using a digital micro manometer which will enable us to get real-time readings of the suction that's happening underneath the slab. And what we'll be looking for is a reading of negative 2 pascals or more and this will show that we're getting that air movement uh, that we're looking for. And you don't need to go out and purchase an expensive digital micromanometer. Uh, you can accomplish the same task using a smoke pen and you can find a link to where to purchase one in the description below. So to give you a layout of the basement that we were working in, here's where we drilled our suction pit. Here are the two holes that we drilled for testing. And we drilled them 15 feet away and 30 feet away. And this will help us to see the radius of suction that we would be getting, uh, making sure that we are reaching the entire basement. And we'll also be using a shop vac to simulate the suction of our radon fan. So here we are at our job. And as you can see, we've drilled through the concrete and yet we haven't taken out any dirt yet, just the chunks of concrete. So we attach our suction and now we're gonna make our way over to our first test hole, which is 15 feet away and see what kind of reading we get. So here we see that before we even turn on our shop vac, that the reading is plus 1.4. So this would indicate that air is actually pushing up into the basement, and along with that air would come radon. So we turn on the shop vac, and we can see those levels begin to go down, and they just barely get into the negative. And at our 30-foot test hole, we are getting no air movement at all. So now it's time to dig. So here are some of the high-tech tools that I like to use when digging. Uh, it can help when you're dealing with different soil conditions and to make the job a little bit easier. So here after some effort, we got three four gallon buckets of dirt out of our hole. And if we can get anywhere between 10 to even 20 gallons of dirt, that's really going to increase our chances of getting that airflow that we want happening underneath the slab. So now we see that at our test point 15 feet away, we're getting that negative 2 that we're looking for. And even 30 feet away, there is some air movement. It's being pulled just a little bit down into the negatives. So now comes our second prong of approach, and that is caulking. Now some of our suction is being lost to the cracks in the slab. We see that near our suction pit, even at times we're getting up to negative eight uh, in the cracks there. So now it's time to do some caulking and see how this can improve our readings that we're getting at our test holes. So as the caulk is smoothed out to fill the crack, we can see here even in real time our readings uh, at our test hole 15 feet away, they just continue to drop. So after getting nearly all the cracks caulked near our suction pit, 
Uh, we can actually get an idea of how much suction was being lost by testing the little bit that's left there. And we can see that that uh, reading drops even into the negative 60s. Uh, that would have been air that would have just been being sucked from the house, something that we don't want. And after caulking the cracks at the far end of the basement, uh, like we see here, we're getting double the readings that we were getting previously. Uh, we were now into the negative fives. And being that this was 30 feet away from our suction pit on the other side of the basement, uh, it could lead us to be confident uh, that we were going to be able to lower the radon level in this house. And the retest verified this. So in the beginning, this house had a level of 6.8. And after the mitigation, we had readings of 1.4. And this was in February uh, when radon tends to be the highest due to the cold weather. So if you found this video helpful, feel free to like and subscribe for future content on radon mitigation. And if you have any questions on a do-it-yourself radon mitigation, uh, you can go to our websites at indoorairhealthadvisor.com and shopradon.com. And you can find the links to these websites in the descriptions below. Thank you and have a good day.